Paul and Ashley met through um, Ryan Broyles. Uh, we did some work for Ryan whenever Ryan started doing his homes. And so um, I guess Paul called him asking him for a contractor, if he knew a contractor. And uh, Ryan's a guy that I've got the utmost respect for. Um, a lot of you guys know his story, but um, when we first got started in real estate, we actually, you know, he was one of the first people that we reached out to just kind of as a mentor. And uh, it didn't take him but two seconds to say, hey, give Ross a call. When we were looking for a contractor, some of the things that were important to me was organization, um, someone that was true to their word, you know, when they said they were going to get something done, they were, you know, within reason of finishing it in that time. Um, and then the other thing that we looked for was someone that was reliable, dependable, and that was going to show up. So when we found Ross, we felt like we hit the jackpot. And we're so thankful uh, to Ryan for sharing him with us because a lot of times when you have a good contractor, you don't really want other people to know about him. Before we got started with Ross, we had no idea about his mission and how much bigger this was than him just remodeling homes for us. And really, it's so neat that we get to uh, be a part of changing lives um, indirectly through, I know he uses a lot of the money that he makes here to fund his mission. Basically, I was working at a Salvation Army uh, rehab, and uh, I'd gone through the rehab before, and then plus I started working there and was working there for a little over a year. And then um, God just called me out to start this, to start a business back up, because I'd seen guys leave there and come right back, say about a month later, sometimes the next day, a week later. So they'd go back home to doing their own, their same thing. So basically, God just called me out to uh, start this back up so we could, uh, help these men um, get employed. And, uh, I've been with Ross now for, I would say, well, since he, since he picked me up off the streets, really. So, you know, once they get out of there and if they've been in there six months, you know, they've uh, either lost their homes, their jobs, their cars. So basically they have nowhere to go. So what we did is we started up this business and and um, started offering them jobs. And then from that, we uh, started offering them um, places to live. Right about as a man thinks, so, so is he, right? So what uh, what goes into our minds is important. And, and our ministry, which is called LoveNet Ministry, um, it's all by the grace of God. And is, you know, a lot of people call them sober living houses, but these are discipleship houses because the sober living really basically comes being discipled through the Word of God. Um, so basically what they do is they come into the house and we have, we've got a house set up to where we do groups over there at night. Um, and then plus, you know, we, we go to church on Sundays and Wednesdays. It makes me think of how can, how can we help in other ways, like maybe donate clothes, food, like it makes me feel like I need to to, to be better and do things like that as well. It's, he's very uh, a very motivating person. And, and, and really it was, um, you know, we, we kind of talked about it the first property, but I think at our second property, that Indigo property, is when we really kind of talked about it. His wife Jill was there, Ashley was there, and so we, we kind of really, you know, kind of got into the meat and potatoes of what he does. And uh, that's kind of when we really, really knew that, you know, this was different than, you know, working with anybody else, you know, other contractors, other people in general, um, just because of his purpose, his mission, his drive, um, obviously what he's done for, you know, these men, um, taking them in, you know, been a father figure for, for a majority of them, um, and, you know, just is there for that support, you know, that, that they need. Um, a lot of people looking for guidance, I've, obviously, especially if you have, you know, life, life happens to all of us. Um, and so to have somebody to fall back on when maybe you think that, you know, the rest of, you know, the, the, the world is, is against you, uh, you got a guy like Ross and Jill that, you know, take you in, take you under their wing, um, a guy that, you know, someone that's experienced, you know, what a lot of these, a lot of these men are going through. And so, you know, it, it is, it's bigger. So you kind of get into the day to day a lot of times when it comes to real estate and, you know, 
buying the right property and you know staying under budget and you know there's so many things to factor in on a day to day. There's stressful things. There's things that are you know that you know you, you love to see. Um, you know when it comes to renovating a property, but ultimately the bigger picture is is is, is what Ross stands for. Ross and Jill. And, uh, and their mission and what they're doing. Well, my favorite thing of always is to take something old and make it new again. And that's kind of what he's doing. He, he's trying to help us get to, too, you know? And uh, man, it's just, it's a blessing. God has just blessed this company and, and the guys in the houses uh, and, and just all the workers in general. Just, it's, it's amazing what God's done. And, uh, and we're so very fortunate to be a part of it. Well, I'm RJ Mercado. Um, I am Ross's son. I uh, pretty much, I've grown up on the job side ever since I was a little kid, so I've learned, um, I've learned a lot ever since my dad took a, a step of faith and was obedient to what God had told him to do and that was starting this ministry that he has. Um, I mean, you know, as a kid, there, that wasn't much, there wasn't much of that around. And so, as a son, you kind of mimic what your father does. And essentially, you know, I kind of learn from him each and every day just a little bit more. You know, it's, it's cool to have uh, a dad like him around to, you know, show, show you things from, from what you need to do in carpentry and also, you know, just being a, uh, a living testimony and example of how to live a, a godly life. Hold the top. Make sure the top don't fall down. We're gonna go up with it. Nope. Uh, they catch it on the plastic. Catch it right here. Give me that. Let me see that.